Okay, hi everybody, uh, Paul from Spitfire Table Tennis. If you want to know how to make your serve spinnier, or how spinny the spinniest loops are, this lot, James, Kobe and Sophie, all maths for engineering students at Bristol University, came over to use my robot and find out. They bought the important bit, a camera shooting 5,000 frames a second, and I provided my robot and everything else. After we'd finally got things set up, this is what we found out. First, no matter what spin comes in, if the bat is held still, the return comes back almost dead flat with hardly any spin at all. So, if you want to make your blocks trickier to deal with, or anything really, don't always keep the bat dead still. Second, the Splitfire robot can deliver a slow loop that spins over 8,500 revs a minute, which as far as I know matches elite level players, so that's good to know too. You can see more and pre-order a robot at SpitfireTableTennis.com. Plug over. Okay, now, on spinny serves. I tried using different parts of the bat to hit backspin serves, like they sometimes tell you to, and the spin was very different. Okay, 4,200 revs per minute for this one, and 6,600 revs per minute for this. But at 5,000 frames a second, you can see it's not where the ball hits the bat that's important, because it's a simple moment of contact in both cases. The bat angle is very similar too. So did you notice what else was different? Focus on my wrist. You can see it's not really moving independently from the forearm in this one, but it is in this one. Have another look. So that must be the important difference. Adding wrist action to the action increases the spin by half as much again. That's significant. A difference in lever arm length, say by hitting the ball near the handle or near the outer edge, which I didn't actually try, would make no way near that much difference. So, from now on, I'm going to focus on wrist movement and whether my wrist is moving at the moment I strike the ball or not. And I'm going to practice variations to see how much more deceptive I can get this type of serve. Nice. Also, I didn't even realise I was using my wrist more the second time. I was just focusing on what part of the bat to hit the ball with. So that's another example of how wide the gap can be between what you think you're doing and what you're actually doing, and another example of how much you can learn by filming yourself. So, again, we come back. Get a Spitfire table tennis robot with an action cam, film yourself more, get better faster. Done.